The arrest of the two assistant chiefs in Magadi, Kajiado County, after colluding with parents to marry off a minor in areas under their jurisdiction, appears to have sparked off a conflict between the county commissioner, David Kipkeme, and Kajiado West Member of Parliament, George Sunkuya. Kipkeme, who has been in the front line in the fight against outlawed practice, says he has received threats from the legislator demanding for the reinstatement of the sub chiefs or the transfer of the county commissioner. It is true. Now, the Meanwhile, Embu Governor Martin Wambora has pledged to enhance the capacity of the region's medical facilities despite a setback that saw a kidney patient succumb to his injuries shortly after doctors at Embu Level 5 Hospital performed a transplant. Wambora says his administration has set aside resources to equip the region's health facilities with the bulk of the funds going to the Embu Level 5 Hospital. Elsewhere, the family of a 42-year-old woman who died at Tabaka Mission Hospital in Kisi County after undergoing a cesarean section delivery is demanding investigations into her death, claiming it may have been a case of negligence. Margaret Ogumbo allegedly died a few minutes after giving birth to her seventh child. <laughs> Mana alipanda kujifungua alikuwa sawa. Kaenda tieta akiwa sawa. Ni nini kilitendeka? Kama kulikuwa na usembe furani kwa madagitari tuchue. And over 1,000 squatters from Maweni Mtopa in Kilifi County are living in fear of possible eviction from a 161-acre piece of land. The squatters are accusing powerful tycoons of colluding with officials from the Ministry of Lands to grab the land. Kuna watu baadhi ya watu, wetu, wenyeji wetu sisi hapa, wameshirikiana na mabonyenye fulani. Na wameshirikiana na ofisa mkubwa kule kwa lands. Ili wakikishi ya kwamba mwenyeji wa maweni hapati haki yake. In Samburu County, Area Governor Moses Lelunkula has reshuffled his county executive committee in a bid to fight corruption. Lelunkula says the move follows allegations that illegal allocations of public land in the county were being facilitated by some county government officials. We want to direct our county secretary to establish a public complaints desk with widely circulated telephone contacts. Vita hivi ya ufisadi ni pia lengo letu kubwa ambayo tunahakikisha kwamba uh, atuwezi tolerate mambo ya corruption katika serikali yetu ya county. Meanwhile, an early morning inferno destroyed a section of Wero Tea Factory in Tharakanithi County. The factory CEO, Franklin Kinoti, says initial investigations indicate that the fire could have been caused by an electric fault after the automated generator developed a power surge while switching on after a power blackout. And I think they didn't hear you. Finally, Kenya Film Classification Board CEO Ezekiel Mutua on Monday welcomed two renowned American filmmakers, Tony Godwin and Jamal Joseph, to have discussions for possible shooting of a movie in the country. The two film producers want to translate an internationally acclaimed best-selling love book, Find Me Unafraid, about the slum boy from Kibera, Kennedy Odede, who married an American girl, Jessica Odede. These two stars who have great love for Kenya and are coming here with a commitment to see the possibility of doing a major film which will bring a lot of value to our country in terms of development of the film industry, exposing our actors and our film producers as well and creating jobs and wealth for our youth. For Channel One News Hour, I'm Emily K. Buddy.